Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So, Mao, I don't usually jump on the royal gossip train, but when there's smoke, there's usually fire. The recent proposal by Conservative MP Bob Seeley is sending shockwaves through the monarchy, and it's about time someone addressed the elephant in the room. The Sussex is seemingly insatiable hunger for the spotlight. Let's get one thing straight. Meghan and Harry have been playing the victim card like it's a game of poker, and it's starting to wear thin. The Titles Deprivation 1917 Act Amendment Bill is like a slap in the face for the couple who, after voluntarily stepping away from their royal duties, continue to milk their royal names for all they're worth. Conservative MP Bob Seeley isn't pulling any punches, and frankly, it's about time someone took a stand. In his recent piece for the Mail on Sunday, Seeley suggests a nuclear option, stripping Meghan and Harry of all their titles. And you know what? I'm all for it. If someone doesn't want to be royal, that is a decision we respect, but they should not keep the titles and privileges if they trash an institution that plays an important part in our nation's life," Seeley wrote, and I couldn't agree more. Now let's talk about the royal racism row. Was it a publicity stunt? Angela Levin, a royal commentator, seems to think so. And honestly, who can blame her? Meghan and Harry have been masters of manipulation orchestrating a narrative that paints them as the victims while simultaneously raking in the cash. Levin points out the glaring hypocrisy. They dish it out but can't take it when it comes back at them. They haven't uttered a word about the allegations, probably because it serves their agenda to keep the drama alive. Meghan, in particular, seems hell-bent on winning at any cost. But what about King Charles? Will he retaliate? According to Levin, it's doubtful. Despite the fury and disappointment, there's still a father's love for Harry. It's a complex situation, hating what your child is doing but desperately wanting to love them. The door is open for Harry, but he's too busy being Meghan's servant to take advantage of it. And here's where it gets really interesting, the proposal to strip their titles. Levin acknowledges the difficulty in doing so, especially with Prince Harry being in the line of succession. However, Seeley's proposal, inspired by events from 1917 during the First World War, could be a game-changer. It's a bold move, and while it may face challenges, it's the kind of shock to the system that Meghan and Harry might need. Titles can be taken away, but their behavior won't change unless there are consequences. Now, the holiday phone calls. Prince Harry reaching out to his family, expressing the desire to spend Christmas together. Shocker, right? Meghan even had a chat with King Charles, but the timing is suspect. Did they anticipate the book's release and strategically reach out to create a narrative of a loving family torn apart by the media? Levin raises a valid point. Why call your father when you know a damning book is about to drop? Unless, of course, you're trying to create sympathy and capitalize on the drama. In conclusion, folks, the royal saga continues, and with Seeley's proposal gaining traction, it might just be game over for the Sussexes. The royal family is in turmoil, and we're here for all the jaw-dropping twists and turns. So what do you think about this news, guys? Thank you for tuning in to today's discussion. As always, I encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Stay tuned for more updates on the intriguing world of royalty. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.